Hi everyone, how are you doing? So, today, this is familiar, isn't it? We're painting another pumpkin. I call it painting a pumpkin again. And if you haven't seen my first painting a pumpkin video, go ahead and watch it. And the difference between this one and the last video is that the first one was a fake pumpkin bucket. This one is a real pumpkin that we picked up from the pumpkin patch. It's very small. Here, let's use it. You see this uh, paint bottle for scale. Very, very small pumpkin. Now, let's paint it. So I went off camera and finished the rest, and there's still a little wet uh, sections there, but that's fine. And now I'm going to sketch my face on there. So I'm going to draw a classic jack-o'-lantern face. And I don't want it to look too scary, but I don't want it to look too cute. Let's see if I could get in between there. So I got my, can you see my eyes, nose, eyes and nose on there? Now I'm going to wait for the mouth to dry, the mouth area. So I finished my face. And you see I added some pupils to the eyes, but actually I think I'm going to scrap that idea later. So I just drew like a vampire mouth with fangs. And... For my idea, I'm going to need a mix, a pastel color of the rainbow. So I'm going to be mixing it on this piece of cardboard. And I need a color, every color of the rainbow. Oh, and plus white, because I want to make it pastel. So I got red, which is pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and white. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. Excuse my rainbow napkin. I used it to wipe my brush on. Now I'm going to tape off the face so everything else stays black. Now I want to use washi tape because I don't want something too sticky that will like ruin the pumpkin when I take off the tape. So... I'm just going to get little bits and put them on like that, all around. So, this looks odd, I know, but I pretty much just want the part to be taped off, or the eyes and nose and the mouth, so that I can make that inside rainbow. And I think it's really cool when like people paint stuff like, contrast like black or rainbow or white and black or something and that's where i got my idea from so i'm going to take my brush just do it so i'm gonna take some i'm gonna start with pink supposed to be red and just dab it on there and i don't know how to blend but i do want to like you know try to make it look a little good
And I know I probably got too much paint for all the parts, like the eyes, nose, and mouth. But that's fine. We're going to go ahead and do it anyways. Because I'm not going to go make less or more paint. That's just crazy. Let's move on to orange. Now at this point, now that I kind of spread the paint around everywhere, I'm expecting it to look probably a little one tone or blotchy. You know, like when you mix all the paint and it turns brown or gray. Okay, let's see the moment of truth. Oh, it did take off the paint a little bit, but that's okay because I'll go and touch it up. doesn't come off Ooh, I like that okay it's it's all coming off now Ooh, this turns out better than I thought it would this looks like something Mariah Elizabeth would do actually like her rainbow patterns actually if you don't know who she is go ahead and check out her channel So the fangs turned into buck teeth a little bit, but I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to go over and touch up all the orange. And there she is. That's my pumpkin. And like I said, the mouth turned out, um, it doesn't really look like a mouth anymore. Hmm. Well, I mean... I still like it. I like the idea. And like this channel, almost everything on this channel, I don't know if it's going to turn out good or not because I don't test these things. They're more like experiments. So I think that's it for today. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned in for the video tomorrow. So week to Halloween. We're almost there. Bye bye.